this is the Miro Smart Home thermostat system. Let's go ahead and unbox and see what comes in the packaging. And I'll also be showing you around setting this up on my mobile phone and sharing my opinions all about it in this video. On the box, see general information about the Miro Smart Wi Fi thermostat that's the MTS 200, supposed to work with Apple Home Kit, Alexa, Google Home, and Samsung SmartThings. Opening it up is straightforward if I can get the nylon lift panel thing to open properly. So we're gonna try do that right now. I finally get it open and then in the box we are greeted with the following items. We have the wire labels which is really nice to have because you got wires coming out of your mains and then you have the user manual which is instruction on how to wire this up and terminate the connections when you're setting it up and then you have some warranty guide and information which i think you should keep handy and then some other information sheet kind of in many languages i'm gonna put that aside also just for now and then the thermostat itself which contains some slots where you put on the wires and it's really well labeled i think in my opinion and it really feels sturdy also and that is the little feel nylon you lift when you're ready to really unveil and then we've got the termination wire some screws which is to hook it up to the wall when you're setting this up And then we have the thermometer thing that sort of tries to measure the temperature in the wall or in the hair or wherever you put it in. I would not be installing this with my setup because I have another temperature sensor in my home I'll be using. So this is an optional feature that you can install with the thermostat if you wish to or not. And that's about all on the box. Now we're gonna go set this up and we will be right. The first thing you do is you go turn off the circuit breaker which applies to where you will be working on the thermostat so you don't get some electric love and with that done and after wiring and setting things up i have it hooked up to the wall the next thing i need to do is just take the thermostat itself and just hook it in just like that and then once I'm satisfied that is good, I will go turn on the eating system again from the circuit breaker and it's on and the boiler is actually kicked off and the thermostat is ready to pair with my smartphone, Android or iOS uh, as the case may be. I'll be using my Samsung for this demo where I'm setting this up on my device. I can modify the temperature controls but first let me actually unveil now looks really nice the blinking wi-fi signal to the top left hand corner actually signifies that it's ready to pair with a smart home or smartphone device and you can modify the temperature manually if you wish to it's got controls also for setting the modes and uh, let me just set this up to some low temperature i think that should be nice and it takes some couple of seconds just to ensure you're ready and then that sets in and it will be ready to tell the thermostat that is what it is so you see the eater fire come on now let's set this up now my mobile phone and we'll go through the experience i'll open up the mirrors app on my phone i have a couple of devices set up there already so we ignore that just for now we'll click the plus button at the top right hand corner of the mirrors application and then we tell it or oh, it might also try to detect some devices but we'll go manual mode here we click thermostat and we'll select the mts 200 for boiler and water system and then we click on next get started we will skip the wiring step since we already have it hooked up to the home wiring and then we we'll confirm that the wi-fi is blinking yes it is and it should instantly detect that the there is a device ready to connect and that will prompt it to actually connect to the device Wi-Fi as you can see here on my screen. I click on connect and it connects to the mirrors Wi-Fi just temporarily so it can finish the setup process, get the Wi-Fi name and password 
and hook that up in the system. Now it takes a couple of moments or so, depending on your Wi-Fi speed, you can select the location where you want this in your home. I think I'll just put it as a living room for now until I finally decide uh, to rename it in the future. I put in my Wi-Fi name and my Wi-Fi password and then it starts hooking it up to the home Wi-Fi system itself now and then disconnect its own Wi-Fi and my phone is back on the Wi-Fi. It finishes all the setup process, add itself up onto the network as a device and then it will be pretty much ready to go. Now, any system I have connected to this, either Google Home or Amazon Alexa, would actually detect that I've added a new smart thermostat device and an Alexa prompt should actually pop up pretty soon now when the device is added and then it's pretty much done you see Alexa pop up and then you can see the thermostat setting it gives us a little bit of guide the first time you launch the thermostat and you can see the labels on things you might want to do you can turn the dial to set the temperature you want or you can use the plus or minus button if you wish to it has modes auto or manual if you wish to go that route also and the auto mode are in three ways eat cool and echo which you can always modify in the device settings but mostly for me i go manual mode and set it the exact temperature that i want to use for this thermostat and it's pretty nice and easy now note that when you set the temperature it takes a little bit of time before the desired temperature you want actually kicks in in the system so you might just have to wait around just a little while for the eating system together and also depending on the temperature you set your boiler to it might take a much longer time to get to your desired temperature but cooling down also goes the same way and that's pretty much setting up on the smartphone the same process applies if you're using an ios device and of course the next steps you want to do is set all your schedules uh, when the morning eating turns on when the um when it goes off and all those kind of things that makes it really really automated and very nice for you to actually have around your home and that's pretty much all you gotta think about when using a smarter motor system in your own home and pretty much that's all I'll be sharing with you on the Miro Smart Thermostat. If you enjoyed it, please remember to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel so you do not miss any further videos coming from me in the future. Until I come your way again with another video on my YouTube channel, I say stay safe and goodbye.